Turkey has strengthened its position in the global armored vehicle market by delivering more than 1,000 units internationally over the past two years, according to the 2023 report of the REM, UNROCA. The document states that 501 armored combat vehicles were exported to 11 countries in 2023. Among the recipients of these vehicles in 2023 were the United Arab Emirates with 180 units, followed by Kazakhstan with 68 vehicles and Saudi Arabia with 66. Tunisia acquired 42 units, Côte d'Ivoire 36, Ecuador 35, Chad 30, Morocco 20, Bangladesh 11, Azerbaijan 10, and Montenegro 3. The report does not specify the exact models of the exported vehicles, as Turkey generally does not provide such details to UNROCA. Beyond armored vehicles, Turkey has also expanded its exports of other military equipment, including combat drones, artillery systems, and guided missiles. Baker has continued the delivery of Bayraktar TB2 drones to several countries, including Ukraine, Poland, and multiple African nations. These drones have played a key role in recent conflicts, enhancing Turkey's reputation in the unmanned aerial systems sector. In the artillery sector, Turkey has exported several T-155 Fratnar self-propelled howitzers, notably to Azerbaijan and Qatar. These 155mm artillery systems, derived from the South Korean K-9 Thunder, provide long-range fire capabilities and have been integrated into the armed forces of purchasing nations. Similarly, the Rokitsan TRG-230 guided missile has been acquired by several foreign clients for precision strikes against strategic targets. Several armed forces have integrated Turkish armored vehicles into their fleets. The diversification of Turkey's export markets highlights the country's growing influence in the defense sector, extending its presence in Asia, Africa, and Europe. Over the past decade, Turkey's defense industry has undergone a major transformation, shifting from being a technology importer to becoming a key exporter of advanced military equipment. This progress has been driven by significant investments in research and development, alongside a government policy focused on strategic autonomy and the expansion of national defense industries. Companies such as Aselsan, Baker, Rokitsan, and Otica have played a central role in this shift, developing advanced systems covering a broad range of capabilities, from armored vehicles to combat drones and smart missile systems.